challenge you, no matter how difficult your problem is, other people have probably already experienced it. Go to those people and get some of their answers of how to turn things around. Seventh key element to handling problems, change your entire belief about what problems are. See, a lot of people think of problems, in fact, myself, quite honestly, other than this tape, I usually call them challenges. I call them problems here to hook you, to grab you, because so many people look at them as problems. For me, my immediate reframe to virtually anything that happens is this is a challenge, and I love a challenge. Problems, eh, they're okay. Solving problems, that feels pretty good. But taking on a challenge, to me, that's inspirational. And remember, we've got to realize that the words we use create states in us. So you might want to change problems to challenges for yourself, and just realize that's what they really are. They're an opportunity for you to expand and grow. I have to tell you that in my life, I'd heard people growing up say things at times like, well, you know, this challenge will really help you to grow. And I thought, yeah, 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 sure, big deal. But in reality, as I look at the most difficult situations in my life, the biggest quote-unquote problems, the biggest challenges have caused me to grow the most. Out of necessity, they have helped me to create the level of skill and ability that have shaped my life well beyond anything that I would have dreamed of before. In fact, a friend shared with me years ago a metaphor about problems that really changed my view of them so that they weren't something to avoid, but rather than something to take advantage of when they came up. He took out a piece of paper one time and drew a little tiny X in the middle of it. And he said, this is you. This is you as a being. And then he drew a circle around it. He said, you see this circle? And it took up maybe a third of the page. I said, yeah. He said, this represents your influence. He said, anything that fits within this circle represents the things that you can easily handle in your life. Things like maybe balancing your checkbook, managing some of the people in your office, getting yourself to follow through on simple tasks. He said, now, take a look at this. Everything outside the circle represents all the things that you have not learned to master yet, the things that aren't within your range of comfort to be able to deal with. He said, and for some people, maybe for you, balancing your checkbook is actually outside your circle. He said, but here's the bottom line. He said, what happens in life is you're just floating along, and all of a sudden, just outside your circle here, just slightly outside, maybe an inch out, whammo, comes in one of these big giant X's called a problem. And he said, what happens is, it smacks the side of your circle and wakes you up a little bit. And your brain says, I've got to go deal with this. So you rush out to the edge of that circle to deal with this quote-unquote problem, but then you hit the edge of your circle. You hit your outer limits, the limits of your comfort zone. And he said, what happens is, most people retreat pretty uncomfortable being out on the edge like that. So they smack against their own barriers and they come right back inside again. And they try and pretend that it's not there. But the problem is, if you leave that problem out there, you know what happens? Within a very short period of time, on the other side of your circle, BAM! There's another one of those problems. Maybe not the exact same thing, but one of a similar type and quality. Have you ever noticed that? It's like you don't handle one, all of a sudden another one pops up. And sure enough, what happens? You run out to the edge of the circle, you hit the edge of your present ability or your present comfort level, and you get a little scared and you pull back.